possible, then what you want is to facilitate the ease of the sale or the turnaround, the completion of the transaction as easy as possible. And that often is a case where you have, like I say, a lot of sales to a lot of customers where you don't have a lot of repeat business possibly, or you're not working exclusively with them. You're not doing custom jobs with them. You're providing them this just goods and you're trying to build confidence without as much personal uh, interaction with them. And those cases, oftentimes it might be worth it to give them as many payment options as possible and have as high tech and, and professional a feel as you can, right? So in those cases, you wanna send out the invoice and say, hey, look, I'm gonna give you any payment option that you want, that you feel most comfortable with. And you're gonna, of course, have possibly fees related to those. So there's different fees depending on the kind of payment they choose. So the, you got the ACH bank payments, 1% uh, here, invoices, uh, invoiced, the card reader, and then the keyed when you actually kind of punch in uh, the information in one way, shape, or form. So again, if you're, if you're diving into the fee structure, you might wanna, you can, you can research it at any given point in time so that you get the current fees and you might wanna talk to like, a QuickBooks Pro advisor to see if they have any discounts possibly on uh, on the fees as well. Also notice the fees are basically structured here, mainly when you're facilitating the transaction. So they're taking a piece when the transaction uh, uh, is being facilitated. So you might have, you might be thinking, do you have options then to be able to, for certain clients, possibly try to try to set up certain payment options which have less fees if, if you do a lot of repeat business with them and you have built trust with them and so on. And for other clients where a situation might be worthwhile to incur whatever fee depending on on the what whatever payment option is being chosen. Okay, so apps to facilitate accepting payments. So you could have apps that can help to kind of integrate with this. The two main apps that we might look at in a little bit more detail in future presentations are the QuickBooks Online app and the Go Payment app. So first, let's take a look at the QuickBooks Online app. Uh, this is basically just your QBO app. So QuickBooks Online is a cloud-based software. Now, I typically do my work on my desktop on it, but because it's cloud-based, they have the cloud-based app and you can do your work on your phone. So this is basically QuickBooks modified to work well on basically a mobile phone. Therefore, it has all you know the functionality for the most part of just normal uh, QuickBooks. It's not there, in other words, just to facilitate the receipt of payment. It's got everything you need. So this is the app that you might have if you're the owner of QuickBooks or administrator of QuickBooks. And in that case, you might be able to receive customer payments where you usually need to enter the customer name and options for transactions to add classes or custom fields. In other words, when you make a sales transaction, uh, you might be using classes, which is an add-on type of feature to better classify your income statement or custom fields. And you have more functionality to do that with the full QuickBooks Online application than with the Go Payment app. So the Go Payment app is basically just for the payments now. So now you've got an app designed just to help facilitate getting the money, you know, from the customer, which might be good for the owner, but also might be good for an employee or, or someone, a salesperson or something like that, where you don't want to give them your full QuickBooks Online app you want them to just be able to collect payments that are going to go into our quickbooks account right so basically use just for customer payments so you got the sales receipt uh, and payment you may not even need a, a customer name so you might be able to you know enter a pretty basic format in order to, to receive payment to get paid just enter the product or service or a dollar amount may be used by a sales agent who is not the owner or bookkeeper so, so that might be a system that is set up for like employee type of situation where you'd have to set them up uh, in, your, in your QuickBooks system, set up the, the GoPay, and then you can give them connectability possibly so that they can, can you know, collect payments, of course, which would be great.